son and came up here on a day ain't supposed to go to school. Guess it's time to make y'all a video today. Woohoo! Let's go! Alright guys, welcome back. So let me go ahead and hit you with the top five apps or websites that I use to get through college. Let me just get on over here so you can see what's over here. And guys, one more thing. These are not in any particular order. One is not greater than five. Five is not greater than one. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to start off with one and go ahead and get this one out of the way because it was on my last video, right? And if you're following me, you're probably going to see this video on 90 to 95% of my videos. Excuse me. You're probably going to see this app or this website in my video 90 or 95 percent let me give it to you grammarly Woo! guys let me tell you this is probably one of my favorite and best apps that i use when it comes to school see grammarly do so many things right for one it checks punctuations it checks if things is 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 capitalized or not it, it checks your sentences and one of my favorite th things is is it checks for plagiarism because you know you cannot be copying nobody out there you can't just go to the website look up an article and copy and paste so so it, it checks that and i want you to understand that it checks that for you because there might be some information you have in this big noggin of yours and you're like who let me just write it down there i'm just write it down there and you didn't know you wrote it exactly the same way an article was read. And there you go. You was ding for plagiarism. So it checks all of that. But I'm not going to go into a bit spill of that because it was on my last video. So let's go ahead to number four. Notes. Woo. Guys, you have to use your notes. And see, you may have Android. You may have iPhone. It doesn't matter. You have Google Notes. Got the notes on iPhone. If you don't even have that, if your phone is not even compatible, go to your app store and download it and stuff. Because the reason why I'm saying notes and, 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 and app and website is because, guys, let's just be honest. This is 2022. This is 2022. We're not really using pencil and paper and pen shoot we ain't using feathers no more ain't we do, 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 do. that's not what we're doing we're not doing that we have cell phones we can look we can we, we can leave our notebooks and stuff and everything at the house we're gonna have our cell phone with us so you need to utilize notes when you win school maybe you don't have paper or the teacher don't have construction paper for you you got your cell phone if there's something you need to jot down go to your phone you already texting in class. So it's, it's, it's best for you to go to your notes and jot down the little small key terms or keywords that a teacher uses or the teacher say, this right here, this right here, you need to hear this, you need to remember this, and you need to apply this. You see what I'm talking about? But I don't think notes have anything on the next one that I'm about to say when it comes to my personal life. Give it to me number three right here, guys need to use Google Calendar. Now, like I said, you might have another phone that don't even have that, but, but through your phone, through the apps, and through the websites, you can find you some type of calendar. Even if it's a paper calendar, you need to get your tail a calendar, a calendar because look, let me tell you something. You got to learn how to prioritize your life, right? See, you are in school. You are in school right now. And what you have to understand that, that nobody's going to tell you when to do your work, when to turn it in, when a test is here. You need to know that. And and, and, and this is going to be a little long segment because I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you something right now. You guys probably heard of the 2080 rule, right? See, when you was in high school, it was it was 20. 80. What that mean? What 2020 80 mean? 20 means that you do 20% of your work at home, right? And then you do the other 80% of your work in school. And you can get by with that because you can get by with doing all what you can do, meaning going to the movies, hanging out with your friends, 
you know, having play day every day with your dog or with your cat or whatever it is that you have. Talk on the phone, talking about nothing, just straight bumping your gums. You can do all of that. You can plan for the weekend. You can do all of that because you only have to do 20% of your work at home. And the other 80% is in school. La, 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 la. Not in college. That 28 rule is flip upside down. And now... You do 80% of your work at home and 20% of your work in school. Let me say that again. You do 80% of your work at home and 20% of your work at school. You see, it's different. You said you wanted to be grown. You said you 18. You wanted us to give you your space. But God dang it, we giving you your space. We're not going to be all up in your face, all up in your grill, all up in your monkey. We ain't going to do all that. What we're going to do is give you the responsibility that you've been looking for. You got tired of being a little kid. You got tired of us treating you like a child. So now it's time to man up. It's time to adult. It's time to step it up. So now you only do 20% of your work in the school and you do the other 80% of your work at home. It's on you. That is why you need Google Calendar or whatever calendar you're going to use because you are going to forget this stuff. And for one reason, your mind haven't flipped from, from, from elementary, middle school, and high school. Your mind haven't flipped from that 20 to 80, right? So now it's time for you to use that calendar and use the reminders inside your phone because I don't want you to say, oh, I forgot to turn in my work. I forgot, I forgot to, to read this chapter. No, you can't forget because now you're using Google Calendar to remind you. We're going to talk about procrastination in another video, but I want to keep this thing moving along. Guys, I want y'all to give me the next one. This is one of my personal favorites. So I had to throw it to you. Give it to me. Number two. Woo -hoo! God dang Speechify. Boy, let me tell you. If it, if it wasn't for Speechify, right? Let, let, let you see that right now. Woo -hoo! If it wasn't for Speechify, I don't think I would be able to be in college, right? You see, I'm that person that loves to read, but don't like to read, right? What I mean by that? I mean that I love to read. And because I love to read, I would read. But I just don't like reading anything. So this stuff, my curriculum that's in school right now, I don't want to read this stuff. I'm going to just keep it 100. I don't want to read this stuff. I, I have drive. I have passion. I have desire. All that's happened. But at the same time, I have a college book. I wish I had it. Hold on, let me, let, me, let me go get this book. Look at this right here, guy. Look at, look at that right there. Do you think I wanna read all of that, right? This thing is over a thousand pages. No, let me show you what it is. With, 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 that old gloves, that old gloves. Let's do it like, this thing is a thousand pages long. Do you really think that I want to read all this word for word, page by page, paragraph by paragraph, chapter by chapter, however you want to say it? I don't want to read all of this. Speechify? But Speechify though? Let me tell you something. Speechify, you can actually take pictures of whatever it is that you want to read and it have an algorithm that once you put it in the app, or the website, your preference, it, it transcript it out and it reads it back to you. And the thing is, this is not the 90s, guys, meaning it doesn't sound crazy. It ain't all mumbo jumbo. No, it's actually legit readers. They, they have people that you know reading these texts out. So what I'm trying to say is, if you that person and you have a hard time reading and you don't like reading, Speechify have you covered, guys. I'm telling you, Speechify got you covered. You need to download Speechify or you need to go to your website and type it in. And get this, guys. And, 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 and disclaimer, this is not a pay, a pay. I'm not being paid to say this, you know. See, I don't even know how to properly say it. So, you know, you know, I'm telling the truth. I'm not being paid to say what it is that, that I'm saying. I'm telling you what I live through, guys. And I'm still going through it right now. What I'm trying to say is, it's free. Of course it's an app you can make in purchase 
in-app purchases, but it's free. Everything what you need to do as far as taking a picture or, or uploading a file, all of that is free. All of that is free. You don't have to worry about that. You can do what you need to do. You can let it read read back to you. You can let the text read back to you. And you can follow along. You can um you can annotate at the same time. You can do all of that good stuff. Guys, I'm trying to tell you, if it wasn't for Speechify, I don't know if I'd be able to make it through college. But I have one more. And like I said, it ain't one greater than the other, whatnot. But this right here helped me pass English. Helped me pass my art class. It helped me pass all the classes that I have to take when it comes to writing essays and everything. This thing right here, give it to me straight, doc. Citation machine. Citation machine. Citation, citation, citation machine. Guys, let me tell you something. Oh, man. I hate this so much. This is the work that you don't want to do, right? And I ain't saying that you don't want to do it, but I'm saying like you want to just do the actual essay, right? But but going back to Grammarly and 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 it checks for 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 plagiarism. That's what it checks for. Let's just say you put some information inside your app. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm saying inside your app. <laughs> sorry. Let's just say you put some information inside your essay, right? You have to quote whoever said this article, right? The citations have to be correct. They want it done a certain way, guys. If it's not done a certain way, you're going to fail. You're going to get it wrong, right? Also, they may want your paper written in APA format or MLA format, right? And you're like, oh my God, yeah, 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 yeah. you're doing all of that because you don't know how to do it. You don't want to learn how to do it. It's so hard. You might forget this one step. Let me tell you something. Let me tell, let me tell you what Citation Machine does for you guys. It cuts through all of that. What you can do with Citation Machine, when you need to quote somebody, and it also do in-text citation, and, it, and, it, and you can put it on your work cited page or reference if you're using APA or if you're using MLA, it, it doesn't matter. What it does, you copy the link, the URL, you copy the URL, right? And then after you copy the URL, you go to citation machine, you type citationmachine.com, you go there, and you paste it inside the link. And what it does, it do the work for you, right? It does it for you. Oh, and by the way, you can choose between APA or MLA. So it ain't just a citation because there, there's, they're basically the same, but there's like one or two difference when it comes between APA and MLA. You can just choose it. You can, you can do a citation from a book, from an article, newspaper, from a website, God dang it, you can do it. And it lets you pick it. And then after that, if it doesn't have all the information, it lets you go in there and type in information if you need to. But for the most part, it does everything for you. This is another app that if I didn't have, I don't know if I would have been able to pass them essays in my English and in my art class. So guys, let's just recap. What's the first thing? Grammarly have to have Grammarly. That's the first thing you need. After that, you need to have your telephone so you can take notes. Cause you know this is 2022. So you ain't got paper and pen on deck like that, but you have your cell phone in your pocket. You probably have your cell phone while the teacher's talking. So then what's number three guys? What's number three? Google Calendar or whatever calendar you use because you have this busy, lavish, luxurious life. You need something to help you remind you on what it is that you need to do for your school, for your class and stuff, right? So you need to use that calendar. What's number two? Speechify, right? You're tired of reading. You're tired of reading. You're tired of reading. I just say it again. You are tired of reading. You just want to listen and you just want to annotate, right? That's all you want to do. Speechify have you covered, guys. And the last thing, them god dang citations. You need citation machine, right? If you don't want to write them out and you just want a website that, that's going to help you with these citations, if it's in text or, or at the end of the essay, citation machine have you covered, guys. Citation machine got you covered, guys.
So, hey, these are my five most critical things that I use. My five applications, my five websites that I use to help me get through college. So, guys, I appreciate you so much. And I thank you for rocking out with Neil Legend, your 34 or 30-something-year-old college students. Woo-woo! See you, guys.